Today I'm going to talk about Cosmic Encounter. As you can see, Cosmic Encounter is my favorite game. This is a very special version of Cosmic. It was licensed by West End Games and released by Games Workshop in England. So that's what the box looks like. Has 32 aliens, plays two to six players, or probably four to six players. <laughs> and uh, it's got my favorite box art for any edition of Cosmic Encounter. It has aliens on it, and it's a, a play on the creation of man. So, it's pretty good. So, let's set out some components to look at here to show you what, how this works here. So, comes a black and white rule book with some pictures to show how things work, which is nice. Sorry about the glare. Pretty simple stuff. The rules haven't really changed from the Eon version at all. This set is pretty much like the uh, the original Eon box with the first two expansions. So it's not a bad deal. Uh, they changed the Destiny stack, which used to be little discs in the uh, Eon version, to uh, cards for the first time. So just colored cards. You, Whatever colors you're playing with, you make a Destiny deck out of it, shuffle them up. And then you draw and have an encounter with that color. So it's pretty good, pretty innovative, and uh, not that Games Workshop did anything with the cards, but uh, later on Fantasy Flight definitely would use this deck to great advantage. Uh, so your ships, you get 20 ships of six colors. You get blue, red, green, which is my favorite and should always come with them. I'm like uh, <laughs> uh, Mayfair who had colorblind problems, I guess. Uh, purple, blue, or <laughs> that's blue. This is yellow uh, and uh, orange. So the orange and red can be distinguished against one another. Some some games have a problem with that. These uh, these ships. It's a cool idea to have three dimensional ships, but they don't. You cannot hold on to them very well. They do stack, but they're just a pain to work with. Cardboard chits uh, from these two editions work a lot better. And uh, the plastic ships from Fantasy Flight are the best. So, here's your hyperspace cone. I like the art on it, it looks really weird. But, uh, nothing on the other side. But yeah, really weird design, pretty cool. Uh, it comes with 32 aliens. They're just on small sheets, a little bit bigger than cards. Uh, they have different art on them from any of the other versions, so that's pretty neat. Uh, the information's on the back, and the art's on the front. So, each color has their own little stand that it comes with, and you would just put the alien on your stand in front of you, the rules facing you, and the art facing your opponents. And you still get the zombie, so, and it doesn't look like a, a slug, like in the Fantasy Flight version, so that's good. Um, but yeah, lots of aliens, lots of art. Um, the Cosmic Deck has an interesting back. In the other versions, in these two versions, it was just a, a star field background. In this, it's a galaxy with the, uh, the logo on there. Even the artifacts have art on them now, which is pretty interesting. The older cards just had simple text on a black or white background. The attack has a big splash damage and large numbers you can see from across the table, which is always a, a plus. I like the numbers in the corners, which uh, I think still carries on to this day. So, no flares, no flares. Again, this is a pretty bare bones uh, version. Really similar, again, to Eon Cosmic with the first two expansions. It's a really good set. I, I literally just bought this because I love this box art. I, <laughs> it's really cool. But if I want to play Bare Bones Cosmic with no flares, I can pull out this. If I want to play Old School Cosmic with flares, I've got this. If I've got, uh, I've got this if you want to play with horrible flares. And Fantasy Play is still the best. Thanks. Bye.